Hey Scorpio, it's Nicola. So let's see what messages we have. This is for December the 15th through the 21st. What messages, what guidance do we have for Scorpio? Sun, Rising, and Venus. What messages? All right. Alchemical mutation. Your spiritual growth is changing your mind, body, and soul. It is very real. It is helping you fulfill all aspects of your divine destiny. It is awakening spiritual talents and attracting in new energies. This process will bring tremendous joy and satisfaction. All right. So let's see what messages we have. What messages do we have? Scorpio, Simon, Rise, and Venus. This is for December the 15th through December the 21st, 2019. What messages, what guidance do we have for Scorpio? Stone and Rising and Venus. This is for December the 15th, December the 16th, December the 17th, December the 18th, December the 19th, December the 20th, and December the 21st. This is for Scorpio, Stone and Rising and Venus for the week of December the 15th through the 21st. energy here. So Scorpio, you may be in a space of taking a, a leap of faith or you could have an unexpected opportunity here. I feel like you need to kind of walk out on faith here because you're most definitely under your Queen of Cups is Scorpio energy. I'm going to leave that out to you. All right. Sunday, we have the Page of Wands here. So I feel like you could be receiving some good news, could be um, starting some new investments, being true to your own passions. You could have some new passions that are stirring as well. Monday, we have the star card here. It could be dealing with an Aquarius, but this could also be wish fulfillment. Some of you guys could be seeing the bigger picture, and that might be why you're taking a leap of faith, walking out on faith. All right. Tuesday, we have the justice card here. It could be dealing with the Libra, but this could also be dealing with balancing. Um, could be weighing out the pros and cons of your life. Could be making some adjustments, really weighing your heart and mind um, in regards to a decision. This could also be some legal things that are that could be happening. Okay, so Wednesday we have the cherry here could be dealing with a cancer, um, especially with the Queen of Cups there. But this can be dealing with um, really finding your motivation to move forward. This is the energy of choosing victory for self. Thursday we have the Ace of Cups. I feel like you're moving toward a new opportunity, something that has the potential to bring emotional fulfillment. I feel like for some of you guys, this could either be a new lover. Or this is just a new opportunity, like I said, that could bring emotional fulfillment. This could be the unexpected opportunity with that full part. Friday, we have the Queen of Wands. I feel like you're in a space of really needing to assert yourself, really needing to be confident in who you are. Could be dealing with a uh, Leo, that's the Queen of Wands energy, but it could be any fire sign, uh, Sagittarius, Aries, or Leo. For some of you guys, you could be in a space of really needing to stay motivated within uh and confident within yourself. Saturday, Five of Wands, because there could be some internal conflicts. So some of you guys could be conflicted within yourself. You could be in a space of really needing to balance out your passions and your emotions so that you can move toward a new opportunity. All right. So we got the Page of Wands here. Oh, let me do my thing. We got the Page of Wands here for Monday. I have this Page of Wands here for Monday. So we have the five of swords here with the magician in reverse. I feel like for some of you guys, you're not, you're feeling defeated. Um, you feel as though you've lost something, which could be causing you to really feel like you can't be true to yourself with a magician. I feel like you need to start making plans. You need to be more, you need to follow your inspirations within yourself. I feel like there has been maybe a fight or something. Someone could have lied, especially with the magician in reverse with the five of swords. That's a lie. So someone may have had some ill motives in the past, may have been manipulating a situation. You could be dealing with someone that is childish. You could be really, how do I say? You could be really, yeah, you could be really upset by this. You're dealing with someone that's childish, someone that has manipulated you. Um, someone that does not see your value here. So this is someone that you've made some plans with that you could have even been in a relationship with. For a lot of you guys, I feel like 
you, the new inspiration that you have or the good news that you have is that you're seeing the truth of this deception. So some of you guys are seeing truth of deception. Um, I feel like you're needing to still have faith with the full card under here because you're getting what it is that you want, even though there is some conflict here. So start energy here for a Monday. Why is the start energy here? Could be dealing with Aquarius. Could be dealing with an Aquarius with the King of Swords here. But I feel like you're choosing what makes you happy. These are way too many. I'm going to put them back. I feel like you're choosing what makes you happy or you're choosing to be on the right path to really stay um, in high faith. You could also be dealing with a Gemini or an Aquarius because that Gemini is King of Swords, but King of Swords with the Star card could be Aquarius. Um, why is this King of Swords? I mean, why is this Star card here? With the Ten of Cups here, some of you guys are choosing to really move toward emotional fulfillment because you know, I don't feel like you're choosing. I feel like you've already cut away what does not make you happy. I feel like you're making plans to be on the right. You're making plans. You're seeing the bigger picture. For some of you guys, you know what's going to make you happy and your, your internal knowledge of what is going to make you happy is going to put you in a space of making the right decisions. With the um, Ten of Pentacles here, I feel like you're committing to a decision. I really feel as though you're committing to a decision. This can also be dealing with um, a hope to balance out a connection so that you can move forward. Why is this justice card here for Tuesday? Why is justice here for Tuesday? Why is justice here for Tuesday? Why is justice here for Tuesday? We have the Empress here. Could be dealing with the Libra. That's most definitely a uh, Libra energy here. Uh, for a lot of you guys, you could be making balanced decisions to allow something to come into fruition. You could also be in a space of mentally knowing what is balanced love for you. With the Nine of Cups, you know what makes you happy. So I feel like you're laying down the burdens. You're doing what is right for you, laying down the burdens and really allowing happiness to, to come into fruition into your life. I feel like you thought about this for a long time. Could also be dealing with the Virgo. I'm sorry. I feel like you thought about this for a long time with the page of swords i feel like you were delaying moving forward because you were trying to do what was right but i feel like now you're seeing that what is right is to release the burdens of a situation that was seeming to be all wrong for you all right so with the chariot here for wednesday why is this chariot here for wednesday i can say this could be dealing with the cancerian energy Queen of Swords here, I feel like you're making a decision to move forward here, finding your motivation, choosing to move forward here. Knight of Pentacles here, you could be cutting away some responsibilities, being discerning of what is your responsibility is what is not. This could cause some type of severance, some type of heartache, some type of sorrow here, especially with the Four of Cups. Some of you guys are letting go of an opportunity here that maybe was um, responsibility-based. And I feel like you're finding your motivation to move forward. You could also be deciding to sever your responsibility with a cancerian energy because it makes you unhappy. You could be in a relationship with someone that makes you unhappy. All right. Some of you guys don't want to miss an opportunity here. So Ace of Cups here. Why is this Ace of Cups here? I'm sorry. Why is this Ace of Cups here for Thursday? Why is this Ace of Cups here for Thursday? judgment here so i feel like for some of you guys you could there could be a reconciliation here and an opportunity to reconcile with a lover it could be dealing with a gemini or you could be making a decision to reconcile with the taurus i'm sorry with the virgo y'all i just thought hierophant in the last uh reading that's why i said taurus but the queen of pentacles is virgo but it can be any earth signs you could be in a space of wanting a reconciliation choosing to make a decision about an opportunity here um, the only person I see is that queen of uh, pentacles. The Gemini is lovers. So this could be a lover here that you're making a decision about. Um, possibly creating a balanced situation or a balanced household situation. You could be extending your energy to this person. There may have been some regret around the situation. Like I said, for some of you guys in the previous card I saw, the four of cups, I feel like for some of you guys, you may have missed an opportunity here. And I did see that, that hierophant. So for some of you guys, that may be a Taurus. With this Queen of Wands here for Friday, I feel like you're in a space of really needing to be confident in yourself, uh, really needing to assert yourself. Why is this Queen of Wands here? Could be dealing with a star sign. Why is this Queen of Wands here? Why is this Queen of Wands here? We have King of Cups here with the Four of Wands here and the Two of Pentacles. I feel like someone is in a space of asserting themselves with the Five of Swords here. I feel like there has been some conflict about this. I feel like someone is moving forward. 
This is what I feel like somebody's doing. I feel like you're taking on this energy of the Queen of Wands and really moving in a new direction. And this is a nurturing decision for yourself. Okay? So five of wands here. I do feel like for some of you guys, you could be having conflicts, maybe even external conflicts, things that have nothing to do with you. With these six of wands, you're moving away from that though. Wheel of Fortune under here, making changes. So I feel like you're granted this new opportunity here because you're moving away from two sixes in a row. You're most definitely moving away from conflict, being loving to self here. So you're by you choosing to be loving to self and really move away from lack partnerships, lack relationships that you've been investing in. I feel like you're finding your inspiration to learn from previous mistakes. I feel like you're moving forward. And I feel like you have a, a new opportunity, a clean slate because of it. All right, so let's see what guidance we have. Let me, what did I have to say? Y'all forgot all I said. I feel like you are moving forward. You're making a, the right decision to move forward. All right, so let's see what guidance we have. What guidance do we have for Scorpio? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What guidance or messages do we have for Scorpio? So the first card we have is Choose Peace. You could be in a space of choosing peace within a situation. All right, so these came out. I definitely got to take them. We have You Can Do It. Focus on your strength, power, joy, and teacher. I feel like you've been taught everything you need to know in order for you to make these changes so focus on joy focus on your strength understand that you can do this and choose peace with the situation some of you guys need to trust the process some of you guys are dealing with a masculine energy that you're needing to follow your heart and let go of or you are a masculine energy and you're needing to follow your heart and let go of something trust the process this is all i have until next time y'all